If I could begin by asking you uh, about the Greek finance minister. He said that Greece intends to return to the bond market this year. When do you think the earliest is that this could happen? Well, it is quite uh, difficult to, uh, for me to, uh, or for any one of us, to be able to uh, pin down a date or a month. Or uh, you, uh, you see that the events in the markets are developing rapidly, and uh, uh, you know that we are on our side. We're making every effort uh, to comply with the fiscal consolidation program, and and uh, eventually um, uh, enhancing it also with the announced program for the privatizations uh, for the. Uh, uh, years 11 to f through 15. But it um, will be this year? This is starting, the, the, uh, you're talking about the privatization, this is going to uh, start from this year. I'm talking about returning, all the way. returning to the bond market, is that no, the bond market, uh, I, I would not comment on, on, on uh, uh, when we're going to be accessing the markets. You know we're going to be, we have filed with the SEC for a retail uh, offering in the U.S. And uh, so, and that's uh, as much as I can say about that because you appreciate I'm constrained uh, uh, through the period of um, filing with the SEC not to, uh, if you like, uh, uh, market uh, the products or solicit investor interest. Mm, indeed. People may question, though, who would ex be expected to buy bonds, where, except, of course, for the uh, EFSF, given that uh, two year borrowing still is uh, more than 16%. Well, indeed. Uh, at the moment, the cost of borrowing is prohibitive for us, and I understand that. Uh, um, uh, so, if you look at the uh, vicinity of March or April, then mm. definitely these are way out of the way, mm. and uh, the yields are way too high for us to access the markets. But um, uh, these days, in financial markets, a quarter is a lifetime, and uh, you could see a major change in, uh, in investor perceptions. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that. This, uh, we're aiming this side of the summer, um, but uh, I think that between now and uh, year end, there is a lot of time to uh, uh, come by, and there is a lot of um, um, improvement that we can uh, uh, we can look uh, forward to achieving in investors' perception. Mm. And again, we are not locking ourselves to the statement that we will be issuing no matter what in 2011. We are aiming for that. If, we, if it doesn't, uh, we don't have to issue in 2011. That's, the, that's what we should start from. We uh, need to access the markets in 2012. Now, how low then do yields need uh, to fall before Greece would feel confident, do you think, returning to the market? Is there a figure you can give me? I don't think this is, there is no magic to the figures, as you know. Obviously, you know that we have an official financing from the EU and the IMF close to an equi the equivalent of the fixed rate of around 5.5%. Five, five uh, I think that uh, we, would not, we would not be contemplating accessing the markets uh, far away from this level. Okay, and um, given details of the uh, EFSF plan, uh, what is going to happen in terms of the market uh, detail? Could an afford, uh, any accord still fall apart when we look at what's happening now uh, with a plan for Greece uh, and indeed for the, for, the, for the greater EU in terms of uh, the sovereign debt crisis? Well, you appreciate we are taking um, and, and we're taking day by day and month, uh, week by week and we're sort of slowly and steadily mm. are improving our, our fundamental picture and situation in Greece. And we feel that the market sooner or later will start focusing on the fundamental changes in Greece and eventually um, uh, start uh, our perception the market is going to start to improve. Now, I, I, your question about what could go wrong uh, as we are we have seen very recently many things in markets can go wrong uh, some of them expected some of them far less expected and uh, so it's a very very broad statement I cannot I cannot answer this question mm. no would it not be more pragmatic uh, for Greece and indeed for some of the other nations uh, in the region uh, to arrange for an orderly extension of debt uh, that would allow you time to complete these austerity measures well, this is what the, has been decided by uh, the EU leaders to extend the maturity of our uh, debt from the uh, EU uh, to, a, um, uh, to, to match, if you like, the, repro the, the, the uh, repayment uh, profile of Ireland. So and this is what was uh, um, eventually aimed for and this is what has been achieved. Uh, finally, I just wanted to ask you a little bit about the uh, diaspora bond. Uh, you, you mentioned that you had uh, filed with the SEC for the three billion euro sale, but what dollars. about that, that Greek uh, a dollar Th sale? Sorry, sorry, three billion dollars. Yeah. What about the Greek diaspora bond? Um, have you got any more information on that for us? Well, I promise I will cover a lot more about the diaspora bonds once our program has been achieved with the SEC.
Okay, thank you very because much. Because at the moment indeed. I'm constrained. Thank you very I much. I understand. Thank you very much for joining us.